Hello everyone. Uh, as we have mentioned uh, before, uh, Chemo supports three different mode of operations. Uh, the user mode where we can emulate individual binary and then we have the system mode where we can emulate an entire system and finally we have the virtualization mode. Uh, in this video, we will focus uh, only on the user mode, which is the simplest uh, mode. And also now we know that a chemo allows us to uh, run uh, binary compliant for different architecture on our um, uh, Ubuntu machine without the need for virtualization or uh, uh, emulating the uh, entire system. Uh, actually, uh, chemo supports wide range of architecture. For example, if I go here and type uh, this command, it will list all the architecture that uh, chemo supports. We can see here chemo x86, 64. Uh, there is also uh, uh, Power BC and uh, there is um, MIPS for and ARM. For example, if I uh, let's list only for uh, MIPS. So we see this is the support for MIPS architecture. I can do the same for uh, ARM. Uh, this is uh, for ARM architecture. We see here, this is a chemo for uh, ARM 64 bit architecture. This is for ARM 32 bit uh, architecture. This is a uh, EB here. This is a uh, big Indian and here uh, EL, this is a uh, little Indian. Okay, so now, uh, we uh, have seen uh, that uh, chemo support uh, different architectures uh, what is our goal here in this video uh, our goal is that we will write a simple c code and then we will compile it for arm architecture then we will use a uh, chemo in order to run this combined uh, binary on our open uh, machine however in order to do that uh, first we uh, we need uh, to combine uh, the C code to uh, ARM uh, architecture. And we need to use what is known as a cross compiler. One of the most famous one is the GCC uh, compiler. We can easily install it using the uh, package uh, manager. And this is uh, uh, the command for installing uh, GCC for ARM. I already have it uh, on my machine, but if you want to uh, follow along, this is uh, the uh, command to install it on your machine. Uh, additionally, we uh, need the libc library for ARM. Like this is the standard uh, uh, C uh, library that provides essential functions uh, such as uh, memory allocation, file uh, uh, handling, or um, uh, string manipulation. Usually it will be installed when we install uh, GCC ARM, but uh, for any reason, if you don't have it uh, on your machine, uh, this is uh, the command to uh, install it. Okay, now we are uh, ready. So let's uh, bring our uh, symbol C code. I will call it uh, hello. So uh, nano hello.c. And I will uh, uh, type here uh, the symbol C code. As you can see here, I only included the STD uh, IO. Then I have the main function. And inside the main function, I'm printing the famous uh, statement, hello world. Let's uh, save it. And now I will uh, compile it two times. One time I will compile it using static linking and the second time I will compile it using dynamic linking. So what is the difference between static linking and dynamic linking? Usually uh, binaries are not standalone uh, programs that contain all the code necessary for execution. Programmers rely all the time on another uh, library is what we call shared libraries in order to uh, perform some task like uh, reading input or printing something on the screen and uh, there are two ways for this binary to use uh, the shared uh, libraries uh, the first one is the dynamic linking and in this uh, scenario uh, the libraries are linked at runtime when they are needed the second one uh, the static uh, linking here all the necessary function from those libraries are copied into the binary itself. So now the binary contain uh, the code for all this, uh, this function. So that's why now we will uh, compile two different uh, time and uh, 
we let's see what's the difference when we do that okay so this is the command for um, compiling using a uh, dynamic uh, linking uh, actually I called it uh, hello.c here so I'm using uh, the arm compiler uh, I added here uh, dash, uh, dash uh, g uh, this will add uh, uh, debug information uh, we uh, it will be helpful for us later when we want to uh, debug uh, the binary so here it's our uh, C code and I called it hello uh, arm dynamic so once I hit, I should have it. And then I will do the same, but now we're using static uh, linking. And you notice the only difference is that I'm using uh, the flag dash uh, static. So also when I list now, I have two, hello arm dynamic and hello arm static. So for example, let's uh, run a file on the static one first. What we can see here, we see it's an ELF, 32-bit architecture, a little Indian, and we have here static, is static linked, statically linked. Let's do the same on um, the dynamic. And again, it's ELF, 32-bit, little Indian ARM architecture, and here we see it's dynamically linked. So now we have uh, two uh, binary they are exactly the same or the code is the same except that one is statically linked and the other one is dynamically linked uh, by the way let's try to for example uh, run uh, the uh, static uh, binary without using chemo what we get here cannot execute the binary file exec format error and that's expected because uh, this is a binary combined for ARM and we are trying to execute it on our Ubuntu machine which is uh, Intel uh, 64. Okay, so and now let's uh, use uh, chemo. That's why we are here because we want to see how we can use chemo in order to execute uh, this binary. So let's start first with the, uh, with the static one. Uh, first usually we need to know which uh, chemo we want to use uh, as I said because here it's 32-bit uh, so now I'm taking uh, uh, chemo arm static and then I provide only the name of uh, hello arm static so once I hit enter you can see here now I get hello world so the program was executed and the hello world printed on the screen okay that's cool let's do the same for now for the static uh, for the dynamic, uh, uh, dynamically linked binary. Okay, this is the command. It's again the same command and the only difference I provided now the dynamically uh, linked. Once I hit enter, now I get an error. So could not open uh, this uh, lib file, no such file or directly. So what is the difference? What's happening here? So in the case of uh, statically linked binary all the necessary function are included within this binary so that's why uh, it was executed normally and we didn't have an error however when we um, try to do the same with the dynamically linked uh, binary uh, there are some shared library that chemo doesn't know where there are these uh, libraries so that's why we get the error no file no such a file or uh, directory because Chemo doesn't know uh, where are those parts, so they are missing. And to solve this issue, actually, the uh, solution is very simple. We need to tell Chemo where uh, Chemo can find those uh, libraries, and we can do that uh, by using the dash l flag. So this is uh, the command again. I'm running a Chemo. The only difference now in this command that I provided the location where the shared library that our uh, function hello arm dynamic uses and once i hit enter you see now it's executed and hello world uh, printed on the screen so this is a scenario you will face a lot uh, during uh, 
you're testing or uh, analyzing binaries because again as i said most of the binaries are not standalone programs they need to use uh, another shared library so once you get a, a binary you want to emulate also you need to know what libraries this binary is using and you need to tell chemo where are those library and once you do that you uh, as you uh, have seen here uh, the binary uh, will run and everything uh, will be fine so uh, now in uh, in this uh, video we have seen that chemo uh, is able to execute uh, a binary compiled for different architecture on our uh, open2 uh, machine so this is for this video thank you for watching in the next video we will see how we can use a gdb in order to debug uh, binary running uh, using uh, chemo for now thank you and see you in the next video bye bye